The family unit, the way God designed it, is where you, you find a lot of completion in life. And without that, you can still live a fulfilling life. You can still serve God. I mean, you can do that as a single person. You can do that as a married couple without children. But I think it's in that family unit that we really start to understand love and service on a daily basis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have five children. Hannah is 10, Kira is eight, Jonathan is three, Alex is one, and Olivia is two months. Four of the five are adopted. It had always been our dream since we were dating and first married to have a big family if the Lord would bless us that way. So when we weren't able to have children of our own and just desperately wanting a baby to love and care for and, and make a family with, I felt like if adoption's the way it, you know, we can do that, then let's do it that way. <laughs> when you don't have control over having children on your own when you decide to. It does increase your level of faith, I think, in the Lord and in and, and letting His plan for your life unfold in His way and in His time and just kind of turning it over to Him and letting Him bless us with, with all these little blessings. What does Hannah have? Hula hoop? They brought just a lot of joy, a lot of love. You know, I think we had joy and love, but it's different when you don't have children than when you bring children in. They complete the family, they make the family kind of have its purpose in raising these children to serve the Lord, to know the Lord. There's a lot of children that don't have homes that you know maybe are, are biracial or have some health problems or have some concerns because of things the birth mother did during the pregnancy. There are just tons of these children that need homes. We need Christians who will open their, their homes and show the love of Christ. To, to a child in this way. It's really good to be adopted. It's just, you get more brothers and sisters and they become your family and it's just really nice to ha have pe more people in your family and like, plus you would have more people to play with, more people to be with when you're lonely. It's really good to adopt other kids and stuff because then they won't be alone. Yay, daddy! When we came across wonderful organizations like Sacred Selections, like the 1213 organization. Those are just, to me, they're heaven sent. You know, they're from God to help us be able to bring these children into our home without having to come up with that huge amount of cash. That probably would have then deterred us. We, we would not have been able to handle that big lump sum. Your furniture is gonna be a little bit older. It's gonna be a little bit more beat up, but you, you get a family in exchange for it. You get children. You get the love that's there that's worth a whole lot more than the physical possessions anyway. Jonathan, can you think about it? <laughs> Some of the feeling that you have going through adoption and knowing that organizations like 1213 are going to help, it's probably similar to you know, how uneasy you would feel facing a natural birth if you had no insurance and you're looking at all these hospital bills and you become overwhelmed with the financial end and you can't focus on what's most important with this child coming into the world. It's just been a tremendous blessing. I think it's very encouraging to people that um, 1213 is going to basically in effect double their money. It makes it a little easier I think for people to give. It makes it a lot easier to reach that goal. It's exciting. It's, it's just it's a tremendous blessing. You're thinking about the child and, and but there are still the realities of the cost. You just want to get that baby in your home but you know the fees are just mounting up and so it's wonderful to have the 1213 organization and Sacred Selections there to back you up and say, don't don't worry about the money part. You focus on getting ready for this baby to come to your house and we'll take care of, of getting those legal fees and, and jumping those hoops. I can't even express how much, how, how grateful it, it makes you feel that they've got you back that way and that the money part is not what you have to worry about.